Among the senior Australian officers on the boats, still being towed to the shore by the steamboats, now just after 4am, there is confusion. In their briefings, they had been told to expect to see ahead of them a flat, sandy beach, giving way to 150 to 200 yards of flats. But from what they can see in the dimness of the now near shore, there is nothing like that. Instead, the lightly gurgling white water of the lapping shore just ahead looks to be practically at the foot of massive hills, one jutting knoll of which looks all of 200 feet high. Tell the Colonel, Flotilla Commander Charles Dix hisses, that the damn fools have taken us a mile too far north. True or not, it is too late now to alter course. Some 75 yards from the shore, the boats are let loose from the steamboats, as now the four seamen allotted to each boat take up the four oars and begin hauling. No easy task in such heavy boats. And stroke. And stroke. And stroke. Floating phantoms on the water, gliding to their goal. 